What is going on, everybody? It's Friday. And I'm at the gym. I'm wearing a slide jacket because it's getting a little bit colder here now. We're in the 40s and 30s and low 50s the highest for the highs. It's cloudy, so it might rain, so I'm wearing this jacket thing. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys today about... Uh, something kind of dear to me um, because I believe it's the cause of more more uh, situations more problems in the MS than than people understand. Stress. Now a lot of people say well I'm not stressed I'm happy. That's not there's a couple ways to be stressed. First there's the obvious way it makes you feel like you're you know somebody's putting a lot of pressure on you and and you're stressed and making a deadline or you're, you know, worried about making this. Anytime you worry, it's a, it's a, it's a form of stress. So, I mean, and then the second way is subconsciously. What, what I do, me personally, and I'm sure a lot of people do this too, is, uh, I eat the problem, what I, is what I call eat the problem, and then I put it in the back of my mind, in the back of my heart. And I don't realize that even though I thought I put it away, it's in the back of your mind, it's in your heart, and it's working hard. It's just, it's just stressing you out. I mean, it's just, that's what it does. It just keeps working on you. It keeps pushing you. And and eventually, if you eat too much of that, it's going to make you depressed. And and because you, you, you didn't handle the situation and finish it right then and there, what you should do, or get out or talk to somebody, you know, talk about things, and men, especially you, because men have a problem with uh, thinking they're not a man if they talk. That's that's crap. It doesn't change who you are, man. Nobody on this earth can deal with that much pressure. Eventually, it's going to beat you up. Eventually, it's going to tear you down. Now, there's there's a thing um, online. Uh, uh, someone puts in my group a lot. I'm not good with names. Um, is stress the cause of multiple sclerosis. I don't believe it's the cause of multiple sclerosis. I believe it's a symptom of multiple sclerosis. Stress, not symptom. I mean, it's, it's a it's a uh, negative ingredient, I guess you would call it, um, for lack of a better term. The more you stress, the more you worry about things, the more it's going to affect you. Stress causes a number of issues. Matter of fact, it's so weird and it's so crazy Science doesn't even know how to deal with it. All they can do is give you pills. Or they say uh, lavender, which helps a lot. Uh, smelling lavender, aromatherapy. Um, I drink a lot of uh, chamomile, chamomile tea. I call it chamoli. Chamomile tea. tea. But you gotta to, to just get the negativity away from you, guys. You gotta get the, the people who are just yeah, 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 all the time away from you. Get it away. There's sometimes. You need to, and, and and you need to hit, hit it head on. And there's sometimes you just need to just get away from it. So when I feel I'm overcome with a lot of things, what I do is I walk away. And see, that's been the bane of a lot of situations in my in relationships I've had because if they're yapping at me or mad at me or talking to me or whatever, whatever you want to say, I don't know. I'm, I know that's offensive to some women, but um, it, I'd walk away. Because I'd rather walk away and you'd be mad than me say something that you'll never forget. Because trust me, you'll never forget. Um, and and I rather and I had a problem when I was younger of getting loud. A Puerto Rican, I grew up in a black home. We're always loud. That's the way we are. Loud, loud everything. The person who wins the fight is the loudest, and that's what I always thought. Now it's all about let's discuss it. Let's just, you know, but I'd rather walk away for three or four minutes, get my composure, come back and see what we can do. Instead of staying there and do it. So I'm telling you, whatever works for you. Like for me, I'd rather just let me walk away for three minutes, come back, I'll be all right. I'm used over something really quick. Um, keep the stress away from you guys. I mean, if you want to know how I'm doing this, I, I keep my stress at the very minimal I can. Um, I don't get involved in a bunch of drama. 
I'm not with that. If I if I, if if I feel that the conversation is never going to end, or 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 you're not willing to open your eyes, you know, I mean, I'm willing to listen. I always read and listen to everything everybody says. Whether I feel that you're going to 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 understand a different point of view than the one that you currently have, if you're, then I walk away. If you're not accepting facts and truth. Then I got nothing to say to you. If you're not if you're not willing to listen to somebody else's uh, opinion or or heart to see if that works into your puzzle, then I got nothing more to say. There's no reason to waste my time on somebody else's drama. So I'm hoping you guys do the same. Now I do this with everything to deal with my life, and I think that right there is a uh, a key puzzle piece. For me, with fighting MS, is I just let it go. And no reason for it. I don't get all bent out of shape, and I don't do that anymore. I let it go. And um, if people want to yap, let them yap. I don't. It doesn't hurt me none. Like I told you in other videos, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be ready. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to the gym, which I'm at now. Um, I'm going to write my books, and I'm going to do things. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I just don't see the point in stressing and hurting myself. If you don't care for me enough to help me not stress, then you don't need to be in my life. Simple as that. Um, guys, uh, just just watch out for yourself. Watch what you eat. Watch what you take into yourself, into your own heart, into your own body. Because you, it, yeah, you can probably take a lot, but you can't take it all. So those out there who are trying to take it all, just, just understand that you need to be like a strainer. Keep the good stuff, strain out the bad. Simple as that. Um, but the point of the strainer is, you still take it all, but you know how to strain out the bad and keep the good. And strain out the bad sometimes means talking about it. You don't just say names and put people on blast or whatever you want to say. You don't do that. Just... Uh, talk to somebody and tell them about the problems like I never talked to anybody about when my dad passed away I never talked about it about that I never I still haven't talked to anybody in length about what my divorce did for me or losing my son in my in, when MS I I still haven't talked to anybody about that I slowly chip at it um, because I know it's really hard for me to express my emotions when it comes to that kind of stuff personally I don't let's like do that but I so no, it, it, it's just you got to find a release. Like I play a video game for my release. I play an online game uh, for that. However long I'm playing, I'm that character, and that's why I'm no longer Ray with dealing with MS. I'm that character. And I play Star Wars, so I'm Ray with the lightsaber, killing people. It was great in the game. I never hurt nobody in real life. Never. But anyway, remember, guys, be a strainer. Strain out the, 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 the bad, keep the good, all right? That's pretty much what I can say to you today. Um, I hope you guys like these videos. Uh, I read about something on Facebook. Anna Vasquez, happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday. Um, what do you like, 22? Youngster. Um, take it easy.